The, the West Virginia Chamber continues to host a series of legislative breakfasts. We'll be next week. We'll be hearing about the budget. Last week we heard from the legislative uh, leaders, the President of the Senate, Mitch Carmichael, Speaker of the House, Tim Armstead, and uh, we're really getting a flavor for what's going on at the Capitol, why it's important, why West Virginians should care, and um, uh, how we can improve our state, how we can improve the economy, how we can improve our health, how we can improve education, how we can improve the quality of life for people in West Virginia. It's all being discussed at the Chamber of Commerce breakfast that we hold on Tuesday mornings during the session. Today's session is about energy and its importance to West Virginia's economy. Uh, Specifically, we have the natural gas industry represented today. We have the chairs of the appropriate committees from the House and the Senate, and they are going to be um, really talking about the role, the very important role that energy plays in West Virginia's economy. You know, West Virginia is the fifth largest energy producing state in the nation in terms of the impact on our economy. And so talking about natural gas, coal, uh, those things that power America are very, very important, and that's why we have the chairs of the Senate Committee, Senator Randy Smith and the chair of the House Committee, uh, Delegate Bill Anderson here, to talk about those subjects. Uh, we have a large crowd from the energy producing sector, uh, a lot of electricity producers, a lot of natural gas producers, several coal uh, interests represented today. And these are people who really care about West Virginia's future, are heavily invested in West Virginia's future, and want to make sure that we get our policies right so that we adequately and, and um, aggressively protect the environment and also uh, allow the production of these vital natural resources that our country and the world need so much.